Hello, my name is Aquanetta Glass, and I am the moderator for this Focus on Health discussion. It is my privilege to introduce to you Dr. Ginger. Dr. Ginger is our subject matter health educator and expert. Hi, Aquanetta, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? I am fabulous, and I'm super excited to be here today. Thank you for coming. Would you please give us a little brief bio? Absolutely. My name is Dr. Ginger and I'm a chiropractor by education, but I've also taught at the world-renowned Hippocrates Health Institute, which is world-renowned for helping people balance their bodies and ultimately reverse disease. I've written books, I've been on Dr. Oz, but really what I do now is I educate. I teach people how to take care of their bodies properly so they don't have to suffer. Thank you very much for that bio. Now let's focus on health. We are going to discuss four areas today. And the first area is mind-body connection. Our challenge indicates that some people do not understand that their thoughts, emotions, feelings affect their body cells. Dr. Ginger, are we saying that our emotions impact our health? Absolutely, and it's probably the one area, you know, we think of nutrition, we think of exercise, but we don't think of our emotional health and our emotional stressors and our emotional toxins. So your thoughts, emotions, your feelings, your anger, your lack of forgiveness, all of these things can actually impact your body's cells. And for example, if you're diagnosed with something and you feel horrible about that diagnosis, perhaps it's something that's terminal, and you believe that diagnosis and you get all emotionally worked up about it, it can affect those cells and it can take it down that path. Okay, so our emotions affect our cells. Are there some solutions? We have a solution for each of our segments. Are there some solutions for the mind-body? Absolutely, so mind-body connection is number one, just to understand that concept, how connected they really are, but how you can change that. And so start changing your thought process, start understanding if it's a, if it's a situation where, where it's a health challenge, there are other people in the world who have probably beaten this health challenge and you can too. And so forget about you know being angry at someone, forget about lack of forgiveness, just move on because it's only hurting you, it's not really hurting them. And for each of our sections, we have a bottom line. And what is the bottom line for the mind-body connection? The bottom line is your thoughts actually speak to your cells. Your thoughts speak to your cells. That is very important to remember. Our second segment is super nutrition. And super nutrition is so important, we actually have, we've broken it into two segments. So our first challenge says that real foods and whole food vitamins versus man-made or manipulated foods and vitamins and synthetic vitamins. What does that mean? Talk to us about that. So there are kind of two major categories of when it comes to certainly supplements. There's whole food supplements and there's synthetic. So there's real foods and there's fake foods and your body only recognizes the real thing. So obviously the standard American diet with all of its fast food is not the real stuff. You know, God's foods, nature's foods, real foods, fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, and sprouts in their least processed form are the foods that your body recognizes. Now when we talk about supplements, you want to look for a whole food supplement versus a synthetic. There's a big difference, and how do you tell the difference? Well, you pick up the bottle, you flip it over, look at the label. If you see broccoli, kale, Brussels sprouts, red peppers, cauliflower, those are whole food supplements. If you don't see that on your multivitamin, it's synthetic. So most people are familiar with the terms fast food and manipulated food, and then you say real foods and whole vitamins. Why do we need to pay attention to whole foods and real vitamins? Because those are the nutrients that our body recognizes and can utilize for good health. The others, your body doesn't recognize, and in fact, in many instances, looks at those ingredients, those, those nutrients, or, or really fake nutrients, as invaders. And so there's a big difference in what's real and what's fake and what your body can utilize. And you have a term for fake that I like. Well, when it comes to genetically modified, many people call it frankenfoods. Frankenfoods. That's right. And God's foods. We need to... That's right. Big difference. So what are our solutions for this particular challenge? Well, we've got to think about what we're utilizing. And so garbage in, garbage out is really the bottom line with it. But the solutions are, let's start eating real foods. And we have a real food list that you can follow and, and 
chances are you're probably eating a portion of that, but if you can start to eliminate the fake foods and start to incorporate more of those foods, that would be great. Read these vitamin labels, and certainly with your multivitamin, look for food on the label. If you don't see broccoli, kale, Brussels sprouts, chances are it's a synthetic supplement. Uh, those are the things that really give you that super nutrition. Okay, and super nutrition equals what? A healthy body, healthy, a healthy immune system. Healthy immune system. And our bottom line again for this particular area under super nutrition? For sure, garbage in, garbage out. Garbage in, garbage out. The next aspect of super nutrition is pH level. Now, we understand pH, but I'd like for you to define that because some people might get confused and I want you to just say what we mean when we're talking about pH level with the body. Absolutely. Well, we learned about it in chemistry class, but if you missed that class, maybe skipped that class or didn't take chemistry at all, you might not be familiar with it, the pH scale in terms of your body, but one area that most people are familiar with is your pool, right? Yes. Whether it's your community pool or you have a pool or you've dealt with pools before. If the pool's pH is not the proper pH, what can happen to that pool? It turns green, it, yes. there's algae. Right, lots of things can grow in a pool that's not the proper pH. And so there's a, actually a terminology that they use in kind of the pool industry to fix a green algae pool. Do you know what that, that term is? What do they do to that pool to get it they back? They shock it. That's right, they shock it. They put some chemicals in, they shock it back to the proper pH. So we understand that concept, right? Yes, we do. Well, let's look at that same concept in terms of our body because our, our body operates the same way. Our body likes to be a certain pH. And if it's not that pH, all kinds of things can grow in it. And what do I mean by that? Disease. And so at these healing centers where they are helping people kind of reverse disease, one of the biggest things that they do is they understand the pH concept and they've got to get the body, which is acidic from the standard American diet and all of today's modern diseases are acidic in nature. They shock the body back to alkalinity with real food, with the fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, and sprouts in their least processed form. Those are the alkaline foods that kind of like the pool, you shock the body. If you only give it the alkaline foods, it's gonna migrate, the pH is gonna start to migrate back that way. And disease doesn't thrive in an alkaline body. Disease thrives in the acidic body. So you've talked about the solutions, but I'd like for you to recap the solutions under this pH level. Absolutely, so you wanna get your body alkaline, number one. You shock the body by eating real foods, real nutrients, not the fake stuff. You want your body to be more alkaline than acidic. It doesn't mean you have to be 100% in everything that you eat, but the balance, kind of like a checkbook at mm -hmm. the end of the day, what is the balance of what you consumed? Is it more alkaline or more acidic? And you want to quit blaming your genetics. Because what you does have, that mean? You have a lot of control over this body that we have. And a lot of people like to blame their genes. And, and you can only do that to a certain extent. If, if I wanted to blame my genes, uh, you know, I, I could say, oh, you know, heart disease. Like, high blood pressure, you know, cancers, all of these things run in my family, but I can tell you I won't have those things because I live in an alkaline body. Right. I keep my body alkaline. Mm -hmm. I use super nutrition, all, and the mind-body connection, all the things that we're talking about today can actually change your gen genetics. And we have a bottom line for the pH level as well. That's right. Real foods and real vitamins are alkaline. So this is our fourth and final area that we'd like to discuss, and that's detoxification. And we're going to talk about how we can lessen our toxic load in the body. But what I'd like you to do is to differentiate between detox in the body and detox as people normally think about in relation to drugs or alcohol. What right. is that? How do you, because I, I want people to understand. Yeah. S similar but different. Um, different in that we're talking about all the different ways that we're toxifying our body. So the liquids that we drink, you know, toxic water, we certainly know a lot about that. Uh, the foods that we're eating that are sprayed with pesticides, herbicides, fungicides, grown genetically modified, or even made with ingredients that aren't food ingredients at all. And then all the things that we put on our skin, all the things that we inhale. So we're getting them bombarded by toxins at every turn. Now our body's fat cells hold on to those toxins, kind of like a suitcase. And so they want, the fat cells want to keep things away from your vital organs. They, they warm us, they keep us cushioned, but they also hold on to toxins for us. And so the basic concept is we want to lessen our toxic load by starting to make these baby step changes on the things that we can control because there's mm -hmm. things we can't control. We come in contact with things all, all day long, basically, but there certainly are things that we can control. And so that's what I'm talking about when we're talking about lessening the toxic load. So we have some products, but I'd like for you to go through the bottom line um, and then talk about the products. Okay, great.
So the bottom line is that we want to lessen our toxic load okay. and start to make these conscious choices. And then the products that can help us do this? Yes, they're absolutely. Number one, clean up your food. Clean up your food act, start eating real foods. But then when it comes to, for example, whole food supplements, we have an incredible uh, whole food supplement line called the Optimals, and that's your vitamins and minerals. And you will see broccoli, kale, Brussels sprouts on the label. I love these because they're at what we call therapeutic doses of nutrients, not just the minuscule, you know, RDA, minuscule amount you need to survive. These are actually at levels to make you thrive because we have to make up for the fact that we, we're spraying our food with all these chemicals which are destroying nutrients. We're cooking our food and then we're taking prescription and over-the-counter medications, mm -hmm. all of which draw nutrients from our body. So loading your body with this kind of super nutrition from a food-based uh, supplement is, in my opinion, where you should be. Okay, and next we're going to talk about MOA. I like to say that. <laughs> <laughs> MOA, actually it stands for mother of all. Mother of all, it's our liquid nutrition. It, you, some people might call it a juice, we call it our liquid nutrition, but it's kind of like a shot in the arm of nutrients because it's basically liquid. When you consume it, it's immediately absorbed by the body. And there's 34 different superfoods found in this bottle of MOA. Uh, they're all, again, at therapeutic doses. Everything we do is therapeutic doses. So you just do a shot in the morning and a shot at night. It's got a peppery little kick to it on purpose because pepperine actually increases nu nutrient absorption. So we wanted to do that. So just a fabulous way to get nutrition in a little shot. Let's talk about shakes That's for a right. minute. Well, shakes are very popular kind of in the health world. Many people are utilizing shakes. You see them all over social media. You see them everywhere. But there's some dirty little secrets about shakes that I want to fill you in on just really briefly. And, and I wrote a report on this called the Shakedown Report. Okay. We're going to shake down the, the, the shakes. Hmm. Uh, there are ingredients in there that, in my opinion, are not real health ingredients for many companies. And so I love our shake because it's very clean. But I'll just kind of rattle off a couple of those ingredients so you're familiar. So when you look at the ingredients on the back of a shake, you don't want to see any artificial sweeteners, right? The right. pink packets, the blue packets, the right. yellow packets. Those are artificial, number one. That should be the first clue, right? Just yes. using that word in your health product uh, should not be a good thing. Uh, but artificial sweeteners are neurotoxins. They're toxic to your brain, they're toxic to your spinal cord, and the nerves that go out to you. So it's not a real health ingredient. And people take this and eat That's right. and they don't even realize no. what they're doing. Exactly. And, and for companies, it's a cheap sweetener and they believe that you don't know anything about them and so they can use them and get away with it. And that's why we're teaching people today. Absolutely. Okay. So no artificial sweeteners in your health shake. That's right. Right? Also, no fructose, right? Mm -hmm. We're familiar with that term fructose, and there's lots of aliases of that word, but high fructose corn syrup, probably most commonly uh, known about in sodas. Right. Many companies are using fructose in their health shakes, again, because they believe that people don't know what fructose can do in the body. And the bottom line is fructose turns into fat. It turns into bad cholesterol, uh, high triglycerides, and fatty acids. So it's not a sweetener that you want to use in your real health shake. Understood. Right? Yes. Also, soy or any, really any kind of dairy, uh, they're very acidic, acid-forming in the body. And so I love ours because it's pea and cranberry protein, just very, very clean, lactose-free, gluten-free, GMO-free, all the buzzwords that people are looking at today. That's what we have here in our Pure Nourish Shake. So go back and talk about the soy for a minute because we are bombarded. Even if you walk into a health food store, you see soy everywhere. And I never knew that soy was bad for you. Yes, the marketing companies that did a great job in the mid-2000s of marketing soy uh, and making people believe that they're really good ingredients. And really the, the kind of story on that is the soy studies that were done to show a positive effect on soy were done on fermented soy. So natto, miso, tempeh. You may, you may have had miso soup before, but natto Absolutely. and tempeh, most people don't, don't have. But those are fermented soy products in condiment portions, not this supercharged, highly processed, literally you can go through an entire day from breakfast to dessert at the end of the day, eating all this processed soy products. Um, it actually negatively affects your thyroid and has lots of other issues in the body. So okay. not an ingredient I want to see in a real health shake. Exactly. And also talk about, um, you, you talked about lactose and, and that, and a lot of people are lactose intolerant. Yes. Actually, up to 75% of the population is lactose intolerant, which means when you consume dairy of any kind, you have 
intestinal disturbances, you know what I mean by that. And so uh, just from a, even a financial standpoint of making a shake, why would you want to exclude 75% of the population if you're going to give them diarrhea, basically? Basically, right? you are. So all that being said, you know, I love that our Pure Nourish Shake is pea and cranberry protein. So anyone who is lactose intolerant, and again, up to 75% of the population is, uh, they're not going to have an issue. Okay. How can we lessen our body's toxic load? Absolutely. Well, kind of step one of lessening your toxic load is start eating real food. Okay. And start sweating. Those, that's kind of phase one of detoxification. Phase two would be start incorporating some supplements and products and known detoxifiers of the body. And so we have that available as well. Uh, step three is kind of working on your body products and perhaps the things you're plugging in your wall to make your house smell good, that's kind of phase three where you start to eliminate those toxic ones and incorporate healthier options. Okay, and our solutions for our detoxification? So our solutions for detoxification are eat real cl and clean foods and waters, right? Avoid synthetic products. Your fat cells hold on to these toxins. Don't forget that they're like little suitcases, right? And the body does know how to self-heal. So let's talk about, we, we talked earlier about processed and manipulated foods, and now we're talking about real and clean food and water. What's the difference? I don't think people really understand the difference between real food and clean. I know we know that some fast food places may not serve real food, but from your perspective, what is real food and clean food? Real food is, is basically, like I said earlier, a God's foods. Your fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, and sprouts in their least processed form. It doesn't mean, again, you have to be at 100%, but we have to start consuming more of those foods because that is what your body recognizes versus, obviously, the fast foods, the pro all the packaged, processed foods, you know, the microwave foods, the fried foods, all of those are what I think of as fake foods. Mm -hmm. And so we've got to start really shifting our body and getting back to the basics again. And clean, that's really what I want you to discuss. Yeah. What is clean? Well, clean is, again, real. Okay. But it's also about not spraying with pesticides, herbicides, fungicides, GMO. They're, they're clean. They're, they don't have any of that on them versus, I guess you could call the others dirty, right? Yes. And you talked earlier about the PLU codes. Yes, the PLU, the price lookup code. What is that? Well, have you ever taken an apple and taken a bite out of it and accidentally eaten that little sticker on your apple? Well, that's the PLU sticker, the price <laughs> lookup sticker that's utilized when you check out and it, you know, it's a little code and it tells the register what your order or what you're what you're purchasing there. But it also, if you know a little bit of something about it, it actually can help you understand what you're buying. Did you know that? I do, because you taught me. That's that. right. So <laughs> the only number, I'm going to tell you all of them, but the only number I really want you to remember is if the, if the PLU number starts with the number 9, that's two thumbs up. If it starts with an 8 or a 3 or a 4, that means it's been sprayed with chemicals or genetically modified. And so it's going to be a four or five digit number on that little sticker. If it starts with a nine, that means it's organic, it hasn't been sprayed with chemicals, and it hasn't been genetically modified. And eight is the number you really don't want people to. That's a that's a GMO product, yeah. Okay. And, you, and you don't see that as often in your produce section. That's used more often maybe in restaurants where they, they, they get a box of that food that come in, but you never see it because it's made into some sort of food. Gotcha. Dr. Ginger, this, as you say, this has been two thumbs up. Let's go through some of the products that will help with detoxification. Okay, so detoxification. We have our Slenderize. I love this product. I literally use this with everyone. So our Slenderize are sublingual homeopathic and herbal drops. Don't let all of that scare you because what it does is it's going to balance your body and it has an incredible side effect of weight loss if needed. I use this product with everyone that I work with. So whether we have someone who's morbidly obese, like in the four, five, six hundred pound range, or fitness competitors, athletes, bodybuilders, you know, we have a, a former boxing heavyweight champion of the world that's using it right now because he wants to slim up a little bit, and really everyone in between. It helps take your physique to the next level, wherever that might be. How does it do it? Well, it comes in a box and there's two bottles and they go under your tongue. You put the drops under your tongue before your three largest meals. There's instructions in there on how to do that. 
it comes with a food list. And the food list is real food. It and is. It's, it's a very easy to follow food list. It's not crazy strict or anything. It's just real wholesome food. It just gives you a nice guideline. And basically what these drops do is they rebalance your brain, reset your taste buds so you're not craving sugar. I like to say it cuts that sugar craving cord literally within three or four days. Liss has one little section like about this big that says avoid. It's not a diet. That's what I like. It's, it's not a diet. It's, it's a lifestyle. That's right. We're, we're actually resetting your chemistry. Think about most diet products, if you want to call it a diet product. I don't consider this a diet product, but it either. does it does help you lose weight, but it balances your body. But most diet products, the main thing that they're trying to do is suppress your appetite, right? So yes. you take a product, take a pill, take a whatever kind of product that is, and it's suppressing your appetite. The problem is when you stop taking that product, your appetite's not suppressed anymore and you're ravenous, right? So what we have to do is we're so off kilter because of the standard American diet and our sugar addictions, we need to reset the brain, reset the taste buds, cut that sugar craving and give you some energy, lower your cortisol, which is your stress hormone, and all of that happens with this product. It's body balancing, and we're backdooring a healthy lifestyle. That's wonderful. So our next product is Rejuvenex. Let's Rejuvenex. Rejuvenex is our, our healthy energy product. It sounds like I've taken a bottle of it. I haven't. I just <laughs> I just have a lot to say in a short period of time, uh, so I'm kind of talking fast, but um, it is your healthy energy. It was specifically formulated to help people transition off of those acidic liquids that we're dousing our bodies with, right? Coffee first thing in the morning and the energy drinks and, and all of those you know, acidic liquids that we're consuming to give us energy when in reality all we're doing is creating an acidic body but also giving this us this high and this low. So Rejuvenex will give you the energy, but it has an amino acid in there called L-theanine. And L-theanine is just a fancy name, but what it does, it's an amazing amino acid that helps to connect the right and left side of the brain and have them communicate and focus. So you've got energy, but you have focus. That's and that's the awesome. kind of energy that you want. You don't want jittery energy and you don't want this high and low. That's awesome. And our next product is Restorex. Restorex is our cellular detox. So uh, underneath the detoxification component that I talked about before, there's lots of different methods to detox that we talked about. Clean up your food, start sweating, right? But there's certain ingredients that they use at many healing centers. And I know I used to buy a box of spirulina, uh, you know, some, some uh, box of chlorella. I used to buy all of this individually. I love this product because it has all of these known detoxifiers in one product. It's a powder that you put in a shot and you just do a little shot of it and you drink it down. But it has spirulina and it has chlorella and it has activated charcoal and all, all of these known heavy metal and pesticide detoxifiers that you just utilize in a little shot on a daily basis. It's all right there in one. It's all packaged up for you. And then we have the toothpaste. Let's talk about the toothpaste. Let's talk about toothpaste. Okay, so I challenge anyone who's watching to pull out your tube of toothpaste when you go home uh, or your box of toothpaste and look at the warning label on that. Have you ever noticed the warning label on the back of the toothpaste? Yes, I have. Pretty shocking. It is. It says contact poison control center right away. They added right away. They didn't leave that off, they added right. that. Uh, that is because there's an ingredient in toothpaste that can be very toxic and poisonous to the body. And, uh, and so, I don't know about you, but I don't wanna leave my child unattended uh, in taking that particular ingredient. And that ingredient is fluoride. And I know we've all been kind of brainwashed into thinking fluoride is necessary for strong teeth. But in reality, fluoride is actually a toxin. And you can ask any holistic dentist and they will tell you fluoride is a poison. The way that you build strong bones and strong teeth is keep your body alkaline. Consume more alkaline minerals, right? Keep Consume it out of that acidic real. state. Exactly. So give us a little information about the study with the kids. You mentioned the kids. You don't want your child to just use any toothpaste. That's right. So there was a study done in, I think, like the mid-1980s uh, that, of course, we haven't heard about uh, on a particular brand of uh, toothpaste that was flavored like bubble gum or something to make kids want to consume it more. And, and I understand that concept. Okay, we've got to have them brush their teeth longer. The problem is they analyzed the amount of fluoride in that tube of toothpaste and came to the conclusion that a child of 66 pounds or less that was left unattended and ate the entire bottle of toothpaste, uh, it could actually 
significantly harm them, if not kill them. So that's, terrible. that's something we have to look at. I love our Revive line, uh, and in particular the Revive toothpaste. It does not have a warning label on it because we do not use fluoride. Uh, I haven't used fluoridated toothpaste in over 20 years. I have all of my teeth, and they're all intact, and I actually get compliments on my teeth. So just understand that, uh, you know, maybe look deeper into that, but understand that that's, a, that's, that's an issue, and that's a toxin that we can certainly eliminate. So Dr. Ginger, we've learned a lot today, as always, and in summary, I I'd like for you to quickly go through each of the four areas that we talked about and discussed so that we can uh, recap and just make people think about these areas and the bottom line. Absolutely. Your first one is the mind-body connection. That's right. Your thoughts speak to your cells. So keep in mind your self-talk, the things that you're saying to yourself, whether it's about life, whether it's about your body, whether it's about anything. Keep it in the positive. Keep it in the positive. And our second, we had two pieces to this section, but the first one is super nutrition. And our super nutrition number one was about? Garbage in, garbage out. Meaning disease and weight and if you don't put the right food in. That's right. If you put garbage food in your body, guess what it's going to produce? A garbage body. And then we talked about pH levels and what's the bottom line there? Real foods and real vitamins are alkaline, not acidic. So you want to get your body alkaline, you want to consume real foods and real vitamins, whole food vitamins. And finally, we talked about detoxification. That's and right. And our, our bottom line on detoxing. Lessening your toxic load in baby steps, but lessening your toxic load will ultimately help heal your body. Dr. Ginger, I'm going to act like there's an audience here and say thank you. You've helped educate us today. And what we'd like to do is we'd like for you to get back to the person that invited you to look at this discussion. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact them or you can go to the website address online. Again, thank you very much, Dr. Thank Ginger. We me. love focusing on health. Thank you very much for viewing this Focus on Health presentation. For more information, please contact the person who provided you the video link. Again, thank you.